having just won at the Rolex 24 at Daytona and nearly winning the subsequent two rounds at the Sebring 12 Hours and Long Beach Grand Prix before late race accidents took them out of contention. Acura are arguably the fastest and most competitive package in IMSA's brand new GTP class. So, with their counterparts at Porsche Penske Motorsport and Cadillac Chip Ganassi Racing competing at this year's Le Mans 24 Hours and BMW planning to enter in 2024 with WRT, it may seem strange, given their early season form, that Acura currently have no plans to join their IMSA rivals. But that's exactly the case. So, in this video, we'll dig into the main reasons behind Acura's absence from the historic race, and then I'll speculate about what a potential effort that finally brings the front-running ARX 06 to Le Mans could look like. Funding In order to understand why an Acura is unlikely to enter the race, we first have to think about who would likely fund the effort. You see, IMSA's effort is funded by Acura, which is a North American brand, and the cars are developed and overseen by Honda Performance Development, HPD, which is based in California. It means that this is an entirely American effort that receives no funding from Honda Motor Company based in Japan. And since Honda Japan control all operations, motorsports included, outside of North America, even if Acura or HPD wanted to fund an international effort, they likely wouldn't be able to. So an effort that took an HPD ARX 06 to Le Mans would likely have to be entirely funded and run by a privateer entry. However, privateer efforts like this have brought HPDs to Le Mans as recently as 2012 and 2013, when both Straka Racing and JRM competed in the LMP1 class with their HPD ARX 03s. Though, due to the lack of Honda and Acura support, these privateer cars were entered not as Acuras or as Hondas, but rather under the HPD name itself, and aside from a small HPD logo on the fin, ran almost entirely unbranded. Given that privateer teams like Joda and Proton are joining the hypercar class in WEC, it seems likely that a privateer with a large enough budget to bring an ARX 06 to Le Mans could emerge. However, the lack of support from Acura and Honda raises a much larger issue. Branding In the new for 2021 hypercar regulations, the ACO and FIA stipulated that any hypercar competitor, quote, must enter a homologated car under the name of an automotive brand. So, for an ARX 06 to be entered in the hypercar class, it must be branded as either an Acura or a Honda. And those aforementioned efforts that brought the ARX 03s to Le Mans under the HPD banner are no longer allowed. This clause is the largest hurdle that any effort to bring an ARX 06 to Le Mans would face. And one just has to look at their reluctance to brand their own engine in Formula One's most dominant car to understand why it seems unlikely that Honda Motor Company would allow a privately run and funded team to fly the Honda flag at the world's most visible endurance race. Speculation So, now that we know the hurdles that an entry would face, who would be the most likely team to spearhead the effort, secure the budget, and convince Honda Japan to bite the bullet and partner with them for both the WEC and Le Mans? The two most logical candidates would be Acura's current teams, Meyershank Racing and Wayne Taylor Racing. However, due to Meyershank Racing's recent cheating scandal, it seems unlikely that Honda would want to draw even closer ties with the Ohio-based team. This leaves Wayne Taylor Racing as the only logical team to step in. WTR, though, is a relatively small operation and has stated in the past that it doesn't possess the resources to run a second car alongside the number 10 in IMSA, let alone in the globe-trotting WEC. However, there is one team that is planning to step in to save the hopes of an ARX 06 running at Le Mans. Andretti Autosport Andretti has long been trying to break into the hypercar and GTP market, and despite having been overlooked for an Acura entry in IMSA for 2023, they have thrown their hat 
back into the ring by announcing a long-term partnership with Wayne Taylor Racing. Though this partnership won't change much for the number 10 Acura in 2023, Wayne Taylor Racing hopes that the added technical support and personnel that Andretti provides will allow the team to expand to a two-car IMSA effort in 2024. And in the long term, WTR are planning to move their entire operation into the $200 million, 575,000 square foot Andretti Global Headquarters when it opens in 2025. With this new formed long-term partnership, Michael Andretti is already bullish about the prospects of competing in the WEC and at Le Mans. When talking to motorsports.com, he said, with our new partners that we have at Andretti Global, our goal is to be in every major racing event in the world. And obviously, Le Mans is one of the big ones. So down the road, we definitely want to be there. And then he went on to say, we're going to have a satellite facility over in Europe. We already have one that we're setting up, but it's going to be bigger. One of the objectives is to have a WEC team running out of there in the next few years. Clearly, Michael Andretti and Wayne Taylor have ambitions to run at Le Mans. But the question remains, can they convince Honda's executives to break with their historical trend and allow an ARX 06 to run at Le Mans under the Honda name? Or will this project end up like their Formula One venture with Cadillac? Ambitious, exciting, enticing, but ultimately a bridge too far. Let me know in the comments below how likely you think it is that we'll see a Honda at Le Mans. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I appreciate the support. I'll see you next time.